so today is the Holy Week of uh, the, it's Holy Week over here in um, in the Philippines. This is my first time here doing Holy Week, and it's April the fifteenth. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all of uh, Philippines at this moment is uh, very uh, it's a religious holiday. It's a very religious holiday. And so a lot of places is closed down. Kitty's gonna take me to three different churches. It's like some kind of pilgrims so that you gotta visit three or five different churches I heard and you gotta walk to each location. We're gonna go check it out and uh, I don't know what to expect. Apparently it's something that happens every year and everyone is like super religious. It's like a Catholic Easter weekend holiday. I think that's about it. So come join me and we will see what goes down in Manila here in the in Easter slash Holy Week weekend. Peace. So anyways, so yeah, it's Holy Week this week and um, uh, we're about to leave at 3 o'clock. It is like, right now it's like, gosh, there's a fly around me. It's like around 2.40, uh, 2.40. It is hot, man. This Philippines is like steaming hot. But it's like a, it's just that there's no AC here. That's the problem. But um, we, uh, but we're about to go soon, and I'm here in Kitty's garden. And uh, basically, uh, behind me is like the, the shared garden here in Fountain. But we're basically um, getting ready to see what's going to happen here in Easter weekend here in the Philippines where basically I hear everybody went somewhere else and did not stay in Manila. They're like other places. So we're going to be staying he here for the weekend and probably see what's going on. I hear the rest of the family is going to, going to Boracay. But oh well. We'll talk more. Alright, later. Crazy looking house. So, what's the story behind this house? Huh? It was built by someone. <laughs> it was built by somebody we don't know, but in the middle. And then it cost too much to live in. It cost too much to live in? Jeez. I really don't know. No one knows about this house. But there's a guarded gate right here. Crazy, there's a guarded gate. <laughs> no one knows about that house. <laughs> it's crazy, no one knows about that house. So, this thing was built before the war and survived it. Survived the Japanese war. The hotel that was a uh, Chinese temple. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's kind of like that, right? It's kind of like that, yeah. It's crazy, all this fish. It's tuna. Never 
like in the Muslim quarters. Wow, look at those favelas. <laughs> right now we're walking around Capo in the uh, Muslim district and uh, pretty much uh, it's pretty cool, all the interesting uh, markets here. So we're going to continue our walk to the next church, which is very interesting. Oh, hello. <laughs> you want halal food? This is the place goes? Yeah, I used to uh, eat a whole bunch of halal food in, uh, over in, uh, in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you, know, you end up, because it's safe and yeah. Sanitary. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, so this is the Capo flea market art? Yes. Okay. Uh, says, no, I think this, yeah. Uh, it says, thank you, come again. <laughs> it's the other way around. That side. Right. Because it's uh, the Islamic side. Oh. So it's the Islamic side. Hey, we walked around here before. Ocean Park. So we're walking to Ocean Park. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, we're just walking around. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me because I took the audio cap off. <clears throat> but we are walking. In. It's been pretty hectic. Yeah. All these vegetables are walking by the fruit market. Right here. Capo is crafter's heaven. Look at these. These things are spikes. So if you can get in a fight, you got spikes. So these are the rollers that you roll on your face and it's supposed to roll away the wrinkles. Yeah. <laughs> roll away the blues. This, this is the secret to youth. How does it work? <laughs> it's true. 350. 350. So instead of using moisturizer, you, you, you put it on here and then you roll it on your face. It's I don't think it you know what I got? I got a finger that can work. <laughs> but with your finger, it stretches your skin. Oh, so you don't want to stretch your skin when you put something. Oh, and actually feels good because it's very cold. That's the only good part. That's what I like about it. That's the only good part that I like about it. You can use it for massage. Yung J. Ito yung rose, diba? Rose quartz. Oh, yung J is in lymphatic drainage, increase skin firmness, and reduce small wrinkles and expression lines, eliminate toxins. Oh, yung J na tayo. Oh my gosh. You know, I got a kitchen. I got something in the kitchen you can use for that. Blood circulation. I can use a spoon. Yeah, a spoon. That could work. Abenturin. Oh, that thing that makes pizza dough, the roller. Yeah. I actually have one of those. Oh yeah, of course. 
Yeah. Anything for your anything for the beauty. <laughs> Here. For the price. For the price. You need also for I pay anything for my girl's good looks. <laughs> get the one that works. Babe, get the one that works. Um, do, you know, do you know what the only thing that I like about it? It's all oh, about faith. It's cold. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Yeah. It's cold. yeah. So give me it and then oh, I'll just... Oh, oh, do that though. See, it's, it feels good already. It's only it feels cold. cold because it, now. it feels nice. You put nice. it in the ref before rolling it on your face. It feels it's nice good. because... This, it was nice Thank because you. it's so happy. It does feel good on your face when it's happy. Uh, but it is cold. I like the cold. Okay. So, uh, 150. If you want, I have some ice cubes. <laughs> 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 you guys want to use some ice cubes? Why you put it, it on a roller? <laughs> what is it supposed to do? Uh, what is it supposed to do, man? It's to make you. You know what you can also use that for? Yeah. Making pizza. Throwing yeah. <laughs> out the dough. Yeah, you can use it for all the dough. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. That's it. Because of the black nazarene. What are they clearing? They're clearing the market. Right? They're clearing the market? Why? Oh, they're expecting a lot of people here, so they're clearing out the market. Oh, just this area. Oh, just this area? Okay. So this is in prep for the Black Nazareth. So they're clearing out all the market and all the other stuff. This is the trash. Whoa, this audio. I hope that you guys can pick up on this audio. where you can buy all the spells. Throw the horseshoe, okay. Capo. <laughs> amulet. We're in the witchcraft amulet section. I don't know how the audio is here, but we are in this. We're in it. Definitely in it. I don't know if you can hear me, but definitely in it. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff I like doing. Rather than going to a mall, I'd rather go here. Yeah. So they're making the uh, the dough by hand. So they're making all the dough by hand, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we're not using any audio, we're just using my uh, 
no external audio so we'll see how this sounds like cool Procession. That was a procession. <laughs> Some of those people wearing uh, weren't wearing any shoes at all. So we're here in Chinatown.